In this getting started video, let's have a look at portfolios navigation. To create a new portfolio, click on port in the main toolbar and then on new portfolio. Type in a name and then click on OK. We are taken straight to the portfolio, but as you can see, we still need to add in some shares. To do this, click on add to port and then on search for a share. Here we can type in the name of an instrument, such as Hotel Chocolat, and then click on OK and it's added straight to the portfolio. Alternatively, if we have a list of ISINs or tickers, we can click on Add to Port and then add multiple shares. We just need to make sure that we enter in each instrument on its own row. Once finished, then click on Look Up. Check that these are all the versions that you're looking for and not for example the US version of Vodafone here, and then click on Add. An alternative way to add shares would be to head over to a list, and then search for the kind of instruments that you're looking for, such as all shares that are up from the previous close. I'm going to select the last share that is up for the day so far, and then right click. Here we have options to add shares to the latest access portfolio, or alternatively, we can select one of our other portfolios here. So I'm going to add the selected share and all above, and then add these to my green watch portfolio. Now to head to this portfolio, we have a couple of options. We could click Port, select a portfolio, and then Green Watch, and then OK. But a quicker method would be to select My Portfolios in the List View toolbar, and then navigate between your different portfolios here. Now that we have some shares, let's add in some transactions by heading to the Trans View in the main toolbar. Here we can see that the portfolio currently has a zero value. So let's first add some money by clicking on Add Cash Transaction at the bottom and then on Credit. Now here we're going to enter in £10,000. And then we're going to select a date, that's a few years ago. And then click on OK. Next let's record a purchase of some shares in 3i Group. To do this, click on Add Transaction at the bottom and then on Buy. So let's buy 100 shares and then set the date to sometime in 2016. And then click on OK. Next we can use the neat trick to add in any dividend since our purchase date. To do this click on Add Transaction at the bottom and then on Add Dividends Automatically. Let's reset the date so we can check the full history. And then click on Check. Here it's found all of the dividends that we would be entitled to with our shares and we can click on add to add all of these into our portfolio. Of course we could enter in a dividend manually by clicking on add transaction then dividend. Here we can enter in the price paid per share such as 10 pence, the day paid if necessary and then click on ok. So here we've added in an extra 10 pounds in dividends. If we now wanted to sell our shares and close the position we could click on add transaction and then on sell. Record the amount received, any charges and the date and then click on OK. Now we can see the position has been closed here and also the total return. If we wanted to edit a selected transaction, we can click on the edit button in the bottom control bar. For example, let's add in some broker charges and then click on OK. We can delete a transaction such as the dividend we added in earlier by clicking on the delete button. You can also move transactions to a different portfolio, so if I select the whole holding and then click on move slash copy, move set of transactions to another portfolio, select an alternative and then click on OK. You can see the holding has gone, but if I move over to Redwatch, we can see these transactions here. Become a better investor with SharePad and discover the advantage.